Good evening, everybody. Tonight, we're going to bring you um, homemade Play-Doh. Now, I've made many homemade Play-Dohs, and this one is by far our favorite. It's nice and smooth, it doesn't stick, the kids love to play with it, and it keeps for a really long time. So, it's made with very basic ingredients, as you can see. One cup white flour, half a cup of salt, two tablespoons cream of tartar, which, to be completely honest, I don't actually know what it's for, except for Play-Doh one tablespoon oil, one cup water, and food coloring. So over here, we have everything all set up. We don't actually eat white flour. Um, we eat whole wheat flour, so if all you have is whole wheat flour, you can use it. It will work. It's just slightly grainier. Uh, the whole white uh, white flour, sorry, makes it smoother. There's the cream of tartar. I've pre-measured everything for the kids tonight so that they can have an easy time making this. Iodized table salt, half a cup. Uh, pure canola oil, one, uh, two tablespoons, sorry. Um, oh, I think it's one tablespoon actually. And then we're gonna add some food coloring just for fun. Now, as a disclaimer, these might be things you have in your house. None of these things, white flour, iodized salt, and canola oil are very good for you. So um, use them to make Play-Doh. Don't eat them, ideally. Uh, okay, boys, are you ready to come make Play-Doh? Yes. <laughs> this one was clearly waiting. Okay, so. Let's look at the recipe together. One cup white flour. It says one cup white flour, mm -hmm. half a cup salt, two tablespoons cream of tartar, one tablespoon oil, one cup food color, one cup water, and food coloring. That sounds pretty easy. It is easy, isn't it? Okay, so, and I've even measured out the ingredients for you guys so that it's a little easier. Um, excuse me, everybody. I'm just gonna shout and see if the other one is coming. Cypress, are you coming? So you can go ahead, Riker, and start. You can take that pot right there. It's not hot. Okay, and you can dump in the one cup of white flour. I want to do the canola. I want to do the stirring part right there. Well, you can both do that. Cypress, you can dump in that half a cup of iodized salt. I thought this we have a new person sugar. here today. Piper. Mm. Yeah. She left. Yeah. Okay. Next, we're going to dump in two tablespoons of cream of tartar. Which again, I don't actually know what that's for. Actually, that's for Piper. Oh, okay, go ahead, Piper. You Thank can dump you. it in. Good job. Super easy. And then, last, Cypress is going to dump in one tablespoon of oil. Okay. Now, all we're going to do next is yes. we're going to go grab a whisk from Mom's kitchen. I actually, I have the food coloring. In a minute, yeah. Can I do it too? Yeah. Wait, we don't yet. Not yet. Where is the whisk? There's only blue and yellow. Sorry guys, we weren't blue. totally ready. We're making green. Okay, little humans. No, actually, it, it goes in the water. And if you guys just leave them alone yeah, for now. Of, of okay, here you go, Cypress. Start whisking your pot. I'm just gonna whisk the first four ingredients. So it says, mix first four ingredients in a pan. That's what Cyrus is... Oh, no, I have all the ingredients ready to go. Good job, though. Okay. Oop, I almost bumped the water. Can I put the water in? Well, first... And we'll put the food coloring in. First, someone has to squeeze the food coloring in. Can I okay, do so the hold blue? On, hold on, and I'll do hold on. No, okay, sure. Quit bumping the water, guys. You're gonna dump it on accident. The food coloring goes, no, no. The food coloring goes into the water so that the whole thing mixes evenly. Wow, you have dirty little hands, little people. And then? Okay, the good color. job. So we're doing blue and yellow. We're actually almost out of food coloring. So this is okay, gonna so be, okay, easy, girl. All right, so Riker can give that, a, oh, look, he's blowing on it. How creative. It. That's okay. So hold on, let's check our, add food coloring to water, good, then add to the dry ingredients and mix well. Oh, there okay, you go. I'll mix it again. Hold on, we'll get, can go I ahead. Mix? Can I oh, mix? we can okay, all have a turn mixing. Yes, you can. And I'll mix it. I'll mix it because I only got to do one thing. Okay. No, okay. you got to do two there you things. Go. You're not mixing with that, food you're going to mix with this. Food. 
Good, good job. Oopsies, that's okay. So we're gonna now we're gonna put it on this burner. Riker, please move that cup. Okay, and we're gonna cook it. Mix it a little bit more, Riker, with your big kid mixing. Good. Icy play doh. Yeah, you're gonna mix all the dry ingredients in, and then we're gonna turn the burner on to a medium high heat. Riker, yeah. watch your arm there, pal. So he's gonna cook it over a medium high heat, medium heat, stirring constantly for three to five minutes. The dough will become difficult to, to stir because it gets thick and it will eventually form a clump. Once you can't stir anymore, you just take it off the stove and you knead it for five minutes. Now, it's if it's slightly too wet or slightly too dry, you can add slightly more water or slightly more flour oh, until you're so happy with it. What's that? I get all the dry ingredients oh, out of the good. corners. That's, that's Some of it just goes right over it sometimes. Yeah. So you gotta make sure you check everywhere. Oh, right, good. Good tip. Yeah, my dad does that with his, um, um, uh, um, oh, it do No, um, <laughs> with, um, no, eggs. He does oh. it with his eggs because sometimes they get stuck to the corners. Oh, that's right. So you gotta get them all Whoa. out. Okay, so Did when it starts, that? yep. Can How about it? Cyrus takes a turn stirring now? Wow. <laughs> then it's my turn. Okay, go ahead and stir because it's got to be stirred. That's hard. Well, that's oh, fine. I need to hold it. Yeah, and you need to start stirring because it needs to be stirred constantly at this point. Watch out, Piper. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour so on the counter. Stirring. There you go. Yeah, don't so stop. Keep stirring. Oh, don't push it, push it okay. Off Can I do it now? Yeah, go ahead, Piper. I'll hold the pot. Give, let Piper have a stir, buddy. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. It's getting hard, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then for the strong, yeah, I think Riker should stir now because it has to be stirred. This yeah. is what, let, let Riker stir now. Oh, I got he's going to make sure oh, he's going to get, hard. yeah, so keep going. Now you want to stir lots because it's going to start forming that gross clump. Not the most appealing looking stuff right now. It looks tasty. Does it? It does not look tasty to me. It looks That's like okay. ice cream. It looks like when you mix ice cream in a bowl. Good job. Strong. I think these guys are mostly just waiting to play with the Play-Doh, right? Can I see? Well, not right now. It's right here. See? Okay, so right here. Good job. Strong. You are very strong. Oh, it's getting this is how hard. Yes, this is it is. Really exactly. Hard. There it goes. It's forming a clump. Oh, it's gotta man. keep going. I know it's hard. It's <clears throat> Once it's thick and clumpy, yes, it's it's thick thick and clumpy. no, I know, but you gotta go a little bit more. Get that one side there. It's stuck there. And the reason is here. I'll turn the heat down a little. The reason we need to keep going is because once it's a clump, we can bring it over here and we can knead it on the counter. It's gonna get stuck more when we stir it more. That's okay. Look at that. Great. Great. Now let's see how it's all coming together. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'm going to so turn that burner off. off. Yeah. So great. So now you're going to take it off the burner. And you're going to dump it onto this nice. Oh, there's some glue there. Yeah, it's going to be hot. So you plop uh -oh. it down. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Well, use a, use a butter knife oh, from God. the drawer. Oops, I just stepped on the dog. Sorry, so dog. I used a butter knife and I didn't want to, so it just came off instantly. Okay. Good job. Okay, a little bit more. And see how it's like, it's forming its own ball now. So that's, you want to wait until that point before you take it out of the pot. And it's a little bit messy because oh, it's still some, it's goo some of the gooey ingredients. Yeah. So. So gooey. Oh, wow. Uh, use this to scrape off the knife or the, the fork or the my goodness uh, the spoon it's kind of like a fork because it's got fork parts but it is a stir spoon get in the back okay and then now you put some flour on your hands oh, just like that? we would with when we're break, baking bread 
In fact, making Play-Doh reminds me of okay. baking bread. You could have my hands and Piper's hands too. Well, you got yeah, sure. Except, and, that, and then no you bread. need and then you need it like bread. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, we'll take turns, guys. Okay. It's not that much Play-Doh. No, not today. It's not. I guess we could have doubled it. Uh huh. Got a little extra there, hey? Okay, Mom. will take the dirty pot out of the way. Um, mm, it's hot. Is it my turn? Oh, my I have nowhere to stay. Okay. All right, Riker. Go ahead and give Piper a turn. Good. It's a little hot still, Piper. Ow. Yeah, because it just got cooked. So all you do is knead it. Yeah, back and forth. Mix it together. Good job. It's starting to look like play -Doh It now. is, isn't it? Okay. Now give Cypress a turn. It's almost done. There you go. Oh, you already have flour. Okay, so there, you know how to knead bread. Go ahead and knead bread. Hot bread. Weird, right? <laughs> and green yeah. bread. Okay. And we take turns. Yeah, well, it's almost done, actually. So, let Mommy have one last knead. Can I do the last knead? Sure. Let Riker do the last knead, and then it's ready to play with. We're going to play with it? Yeah, of course. See yeah, if we can make it into stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Like chocolate bars and gummy bears. Oh, we have so many Play-Doh toys, right? Actually, I don't know where the Play-Doh toy bag is. So we have no clue where all of them are. Well, I'll find it. Moms always find things. But oh my goodness, look at that beautiful, soft green Play-Doh. Okay, oh, back up too close. There we go. It's beautiful. It's the same consistency as Play-Doh. The texture's like Play-Doh. And it's actually 100% made from things out of your kitchen. So if your tiny little toddlers, we eat just made some of it, this. Yeah, if your tiny little toddlers eat some of it, it's completely safe. It's also really salty. Can I punch it? So generally, it actually is a turn off. So Wait, yeah, so it's perfect. If, All right, guys. So I'll there you it. go. We made homemade play doh. Super easy, under 10 minutes. Enjoy. And it even smells like play doh. <laughs>